Now, over the years, I've made a myriad of content. Motorcycle videos, car videos, building videos, hell, even cooking videos. Woo! But one genre of video has remained on the highly demanded return list. Mower vlogs. So when Mowerator reached out to me and they mentioned they make a remote control lawnmower, I knew it was time for mower vlogs to make a return. Except, I wasn't going to just cut my grass with this RC lawnmower. No, no, no. I had other plans. Let's get into it. That's a lawnmower. Don't ask me how that's a lawnmower, but there's a lawnmower in there, and we're gonna find out. It doesn't have any personal information on it, it doesn't. Everybody's been wanting me to bring mower vlogs back, and I think I have just the tool for that. Kinda, we'll, we'll see. Oh, oh shit. Okay, wow, it's just right there. I, I was expecting there to be more box. It is just straight up a lawnmower in here. It looks like it's got wheels that need to go on. How heavy is it? Oh, it's super light. Ooh. Dang, that's a beefy charger. We got front wheels, uh, something, some more something. Uh, tools, it's already better than that Ikea shelf I put together. Yeah, but see, this isn't a traditional lawnmower. Like when I did the lawnmower vlogs, those were riding lawnmowers and I just rode on them. Oh fuck. That's actually not that heavy. I thought it was gonna be heavier. Oh dude, I'm gonna mod the shit out of this thing. The question is, do I try to build it without the instructions? Cause I think it, it looks really simple. It looks like I can just do that. Like these wheels, all right, these just kind of go in here. Ugh. Ugh. All right, all right, I guess you're going, you're going upside down. <laughs> it says grass side. <laughs> it's kind of like a claymore face towards enemy, face towards grass. Okay, put those there, put those there. That's how this should be. Yeah, this, I'm doing good. I'm killing it. Okay, caution, sharp blade. I would hope so. Okay. Oh shit. All right, all right, all right. Dude, this thing's hauling ass. What the fuck? Oh, dude, it's hilarious on the Swiss tracks. It says slippery. <laughs> dude, it's like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Editing version of me put a video of a snake on like a silk blanket unable to move. Oh, that's so weird. Holy shit, it's fast. It's so fast. <laughs> oh, dude, look at it go. It was a cool little murder bot, dude. Oh, dude, you guys have no idea. This is the downfall of civilization right here. For the video, I gotta make it go out slow. It's hunting. It smells something. It smells something. It's hunting. Look at it go, mate. She's trying to figure out where the next snack is. Oh, oh it's coming after me. Oh, no, not me. All right, I think we turn on both blades with this. Launching blades. <laughs> Dude, this thing kicks ass. Are you kidding? Yo, it hauls ass. <laughs> this is hilarious, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, dude, this is so cool. This, this is, it goes a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Do you want to try it? <laughs> The line. You're, you're not you're not doing a great job, but you're doing a job. <laughs> you know, it's getting done. Wait, 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 I can't figure it out. Yo, they should have done the remote control like this. Harper fucking hates it. Oh, no. What are you doing? You're not I'm even trying the lines. I'm doing a penis. It's not even like a line. You are drawing a penis. That is a penis. <laughs> Harper, why don't you like this? This is your favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank God it's early and everyone's at work. I got a lot of work to do. Let's keep it real here, all right? I got work to do. Check my penis. I don't have to check it, it's great. It's beautiful. You've done an amazing job. Yeah, we don't really drink anymore, but damn, does it kind of look like she does. Back to work, all right? We're men at work here. If I had a little bit more range, this thing would be perfect, but I've been talking to the owner about that and they're working on that. They didn't want to do it too far away. This thing's kick ass, I'm not gonna lie. 
the lines are gonna look like shit. That, that guy on YouTube who does all of his own grass with that push mower, and he's all like proud about it because it's like an old school one, he's gonna talk so much shit on this video. It's a little bit narrow, but it seems to be working great. I'm doing such a bad job, but I'm having a great time. Imagine driving this thing with a couple cold brews in you. I know it's only 10 a.m., but I'm thinking about it. And I am certainly the weird one in the neighborhood. Our neighborhood is full of nice, regular people who just try to live their lives. And then you got me. People are always like, oh, Dan, I bet it's so fun to live next to you. Says who? I'm the bad neighbor. What do you mean max range? I'm right next to it. Let's sit over here in the shade. You guys can look at the Corvette and stuff while I fuck the yard up. Oh, dude, this is, this is where it's at. It's quiet, by the way. It's very quiet. I thought it was gonna be really loud, but it's very quiet. I'm telling you, man, you have a couple of your buddies come over, you and them take turns cutting the grass with this thing, having a couple beers. This is right up their alley. Oh shit, I almost went off. Nope, back up, back up. It's a zero turn, as in I don't turn it very well. I think I can ride it. I'm gonna try it. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! All right, we're gonna have to be careful on this. This thing books it. We've officially reached full meta. Peak meta, dude. They should have given me an Xbox controller, bro. <laughs> Imagine coming home and seeing this dumb shit. Oh, dude. Oh, it's got no suspension. Oh, I thought I lost my phone for a second. That'd have been bad. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm on top of the world. I don't have to worry about max range if you're riding it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's all in. Oh, we've got a bunch of shit. This is what you guys wanted. You guys wanted mower vlogs. Well, here you go. This is so fucking fun. You want to talk about accurate now, dude. I'm having the time of my life, bro. They're getting the lines right is certainly a an art. Certainly an art. I'm having a I'm having a oh 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 oh. I'm supposed to do that. It's meant to do that. They're built for that. It's a lawnmower. Sticks are lawns. I also want, don't want to get too close to my neighbor's house and fuck up their grass. I want to be respectful of their property. Oh shit. It's like I'm flying a drone, except I don't have to worry about the FAA. We all know how much I like those guys. It is taking longer right now because I'm having so much fun. Like I'm not gonna even bullshit with you guys. That's where, this is where the fun's at. Okay, it, it struggles backing up a little bit. Come on, back, back, back it up, ah! This thing did not even seem to be like remotely affected by my weight, by the way. I thought that was interesting. All right, let's see what we can do without hitting the mailbox. Oh, we gotta ride that line, dude. Look at us, we gotta ride that line. We're riding that line. Dude, my neighbor, Brandon, he's gonna come home and check the cameras and be like, what the fuck was Dan doing? Look at this, I'm a real operator right here. I'm just built differently, dude. Greatest lawnmower operator there ever was, this side of the Mississippi. All right, women wanna be with me, men wanna be me. Taken ladies, I'm sorry. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We're doing the stanky leg, we're stuck. Put her in four low, Clint, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, come on, you can do it. Come on, we're not gonna give up on you. I'm Picking you up would be accepting defeat. We're just not gonna do, all right, we, okay. All right. Well, see, now it's just sad. It's like one of those dogs that has a wheelchair for its back legs. I'm a dog, I swear, don't put me down. Please, let me, let me, let me live. No, 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 no. I like the wheelchair, please. Can you give me a little help there? All right. Hit that stick one more time for me. There you go. What should have been with a traditional lawnmower, a 10 minute mow is now turning into a 30 minute mow 
not because of the product, but because I'm having so much fun with it. I'm also heavily autistic. This is like my model trains right here, dude. Oh, what kind of, what, what, what brand of autism do you have? Do you have the kind that's good with numbers? What about the ones that can do math real quick? No, I like, I like trains and lawn mowers. That's what I like. All right, you know, it's like our first haircut. Not doing the best, you know, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna get to something that looks like a, now don't hit my camera. Don't hit my camera. That, you guys are worth about the same. My camera and this lawnmower, about the same price. I like, I don't like how it, oh shit, calm down now, scooter. It, it does drag, it limps one wheel. You know, it goes into stroke mode when you gotta turn. Watch one of those back wheels. See how one of them drags, the other one spins. I don't think that's great on the grass. It's, it's digging up a little bit, see? So you gotta be careful with it. But you know, you gotta do that with any lawnmower. How are we looking? We only got what, like a handful of spots we need to correct. Oh, oh, get over them sticks. What are we doing battery? Damn, we did the whole front yard. It's only been like 10%. So like, you know, we just bought this house last year and before we couldn't give a shit about the grass, but now we own the place and now we care about our lawn. So we, we've had people come out and de-weed it. It looks like crap. If you look at some of the, the videos when we first moved in versus now, you'd be like, oh, you'd be like really blown away how, how good of a job we've done with this thing. Imagine on like a hot day, you know, you don't feel like being outside. You just do this out the window. Are you gonna hit that stick? You gonna hit that stick? Oh, he's not gonna hit that stick. Oh, that's a stick. <laughs> this thing cooks, dude. It's ridiculous. I mean, cutting the grass is already kind of a lazy chore. If you don't have a, if you, if you have a push mower, it's not. But if you have a riding lawn mower, it's kind of already like, you're gonna have fun doing it. Have a couple beers or a couple J's, go cut the grass, fuck it all up, do another final turn on it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love the way you look. I guarantee it. I like how Laura immediately drew a penis. It was like the first thing she did. All right, I think that's looking all right. I mean, the lines are pretty shit, but you know, first try, what do you expect? Well, I guess I'm done. I guess I could ride it around a little bit more, you know? It certainly adds a fun layer of cutting grass. What do you guys think? That's a 10 out of 10 right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max range, blow me. Let's blow it real quick, giggity. Get over here in the shade where I can get a good look at you. Yeah, I know I have a Ryobi leaf blower, all right? I don't care, I don't have 100 fucking acres. This thing does great. I've also done a pretty good job of keeping the garage clean since we've rebuilt everything. Got it all nice and cleaned up. And then the paint and the walls and stuff like that. So I am trying to keep it that way. A little bit of leaf blowing. Now we gotta put that thing in here. Dude, it's never gonna fit through that gap. But I have an idea. Good old fashioned driving here, boys. Don't touch the tramp. Hey, 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 hey. Man, this thing's a little touchy. This thing's a little touchy, dude. Ah. What's it hitting on? Yeah. We see that thing moving the truck? Hold on. Okay. All right. How much fucking torque does this thing have? Come on, Peggy. Let's go. Get in the, get in the damn car. Let's go. You're drunk again. All right. Hey, dude, watch out, man. Fucking A, that's my favorite bike. Don't hit it, stop hitting the, don't touch the, stop it. It's trying to make love. It's trying to fuck my bike. I can't stop it, guys. You guys are gonna have some, some remote controlled Honda Magna lawnmowers coming real soon. Oh no. Oh, it wants the, it wants the CB1000 now. God damn it. You just want the power. All right, let's, we gotta put this thing up. I've got mud, many more things to do with this thing. I gotta, I gotta let the battery charge. Even though we did all that and it's only down to 70 and it was at, uh, 89% when we started. Very impressed with that battery life, considering how long I've been fucking with this and been riding with it. So the mower works great and it's a ton of fun. I was able to cut my grass while staying in the shade and also having a blasty blast. But there was something churning in the back of my mind. A voice whispering into my subconscious, teasing my temporal lobe, nipping at my medulla oblongata. Bat box? No. Bad bottle? No. That's not it either. Batting? Baiting? No. Battle. 
Battle Bots. Battle Bots. Battle Bots. There it was. If you remember in 2022, I went to Vegas and watched my favorite childhood show, Battle Bots, live in person with THE Chuck Liddell. Yeah, pretty hard to top that one. But we are going to try by turning this everyday gardening tool into a weapon of mass destruction. I quickly rushed to my shop and fired up my plasma table and got to work using precision tools like this hammer and angle grinder to build something so impressive. Joe Rogan is working on a podcast about it. All of a sudden, I'd be trying to prove that I'm not crazy when I knew I wasn't crazy. Right. And like Dr. Frankenstein, I too wonder if what I created was too much, too extreme, too dubious to see the light of day. But then, like a man, I repressed that feeling deep, deep down and started it up. This is the first test. Oh God, it's a little squirmy. You see we've got our armor plate so it doesn't burn the front thing when it drips, because it will. This is the pinnacle of engineering right here with zip ties and duct tape holding everything together. I think we're, uh, we're in a good for, we're think, I think we're good for our first test run of our new battle bot. Firing main cannon. <laughs> There's no way that works. Firing main cannon. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Come on, little guy. We've got war crimes to commit. Firing main cannon. <laughs> Gotta refill it. Gotta refill it. Turn it off for safety. It is at a bit of an angle, which makes the feeding a little bit challenging, but we still got it working. Firing main cannon. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna get so much trouble with this thing. <laughs> Attack mode. Oh, we gotta be careful. <laughs> Starting to aim at the truck. All right, there's just one more missing thing that it needs and we're gonna go get that done. Going on, man. <laughs> I have something for both of you. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's not to keep, but it, I need your assistance with something. I need, I need some. Come out here and look. Come out here and look. You, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Because you, if I say it, you're not gonna believe it. You're just not gonna believe me. Okay. But I need, I need you to make a sticker for me. Okay. Yeah. So, this is a remote controlled lawnmower with a flamethrower attached on it. <laughs> right. 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 So I need, I need. ATF is gay on both sides. What is wrong with you? It works too. Like, oh my! Lord. The whole thing is remote controlled. You can press. You, I, I rigged up a, a a button to where you can press it and it shoots a flamethrower wirelessly. That is crazy. Yeah, this is not the most American thing. <laughs> you want to play with it? Like I'm gonna. No, you have to help. Here. Yeah, yeah. Of course I'm here. I'm not trying to get kicked out. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> oh my! It's pinnacle of engineering. We've got duct tape. We've got zip ties. That's that's to angle it. Yeah, to, it's wow. got to be because you're, you're throwing. You don't want it to shoot down. And we got we got a steel wow. steel plate or aluminum plate here to keep the fire from burning their sweet machine because I got to give it back. We are the grown ups. What are you talking about? <laughs> so you just lift this up. You turn this on. Make sure to point that right at your head. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna plug the battery in because I have it disconnected. Now we're gonna wait for the click, make sure it's off. It's off. Because if you turn it on, it's just gonna start spraying. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I, I don't know if I filled it up or not. Fire and main cannon. Oh my gosh, I feel that. <laughs> 
<laughs> firing main cannon. So I have not done the research to see if this is legal or not. I'm just kind of assuming. That's like, they'd love this. Dude, are you kidding me? The sheriff's department would love this. Let's go bring it to them. Here, you can show me where it's at, we'll go. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't ask them. It's kind of more like, I was like, is there anything I can't do with it? And they're like, no, have fun. They let me borrow this thing. It's not even mine to keep. <laughs> Mo Raider, by the way. It's excellent company. I like them a lot. They're very nice. The quality is good. The pricing's fair. At no point did they say I couldn't do this. So, uh, you want to shoot it? No. Why not? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I thought. Okay. Okay, so the button for the flamethrower is this. It is a toggle button. So you click it on, it shoots. You have to hit off to turn it off. Okay. All right, ready? Here we, oh, wait, 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 here comes Doug. Fire department! Oh, fire department. Oh, this is, oh, sh oh shit. Stop, 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 stop. Maybe we, Maybe we should wait. Maybe we no, should. Doug is gonna get I a kick out of it. Oh, dude, the fucking fire department. Are you kidding? Did they get called that fast? No. <laughs> Ask dude, him. come here. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so strange that you showed up. Yep. It's like your ears were burning. They Did you get a call? <laughs> Why the hell would you want a remote control flamethrower? Why wouldn't you? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. Yeah. It's right here. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> it kind of looks like a cyber truck, don't it? <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. <laughs> it is. It's on the fastest set. That thing hauls ass. Fast. Oh, what? It's this dude. Did I just be building shit, all right? Either you guys wanna? No, no, I'm good. Bro. You sure? I'm good. He doesn't. You, put good. your fingerprints on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> put the fingerprints on it. And then you can cut grass. And then you can cut grass. Then you can cut the grass. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. <laughs> Me when she touches my thigh. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put a little bit of diesel in it. It's like a 70 30. If you do like 30% diesel, it burns really good. It's like Agent Orange. Yeah. Did you want to play with it, sir? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. This is a great concept. I think so. I think we could sell these. And I just kept rolling and rolling and rolling. People don't know how safe this thing really is. Oh <laughs> Me storming the beaches in Normandy. <laughs> this is what Gen Z war is gonna be like. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, they're all yeah. Yeah, they're confused. <laughs> hey man, thank you guys. Thanks for entertaining it. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut you guys' grass for you, okay? I'm not gonna use the flamethrower this time. I'm even disconnecting the battery. There we go. I consider myself a bit of a, a serviceman. Peak humanity right here, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Everyone's like, why? <laughs> That's the funniest part to me. It's like, well, you wouldn't? Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm glad I got my video before you put that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's perfect. Gold was the right color. Wow. All right, that's all fun and games, but it's time to answer the one question that I've gotten since the start of this project from pretty much everybody, which is, why? And I respond simply with, why not? This is simply just my natural progression of thought. I saw this remote-controlled lawnmower, and I wanted to put a flamethrower on it. It is really and truly that simple. My brain told me to do it, and I had no say in the matter. But isn't that what science really truly is? A little bit of fucking around and finding out. Now I will say this, I spoke with Anna, who is basically the brains behind this whole thing, behind the partnership and, and me getting to play with this and the mower itself. And she is very passionate and truly believes in herself and the company and her product. And these are truly the best kind of partnerships that I get to make. People who are excited and truly believe in what they do. But all joking aside, I just wanted to truly weigh in on the mower Raider. First of all, it is clearly a more fun approach on a boring task, right? Bills aren't fun, chores aren't fun, most adult things 
aren't fun. And I like fun. I like fun a lot. And that's one of my biggest metrics is how fun something is. I absolutely do not mind spending money or time on things that bring me joy. And this is easily the most fun time I've had cutting grass in five, eight, ten years. And it feels reasonably safe, right? I think that's a lot of things is like usually fun things aren't safe. And I know that sounds crazy from a dude who strapped a flamethrower onto one of these things, but it honestly was a relatively large concern for me. How safe is it for the every man? And I think this is something that pretty much anybody can pick up and be safe with. Assembly was also incredibly easy. Just add the wheels and the accessories and it's ready to rip. I truly believe that anyone could get one of these things up and running in just a few minutes, cutting grass, ready to go. But what about battery life, right? Probably the biggest talking point of all electrical power devices is battery life. Now, since having this thing, I've only charged the battery one time. We live on about a quarter of an acre and it's done the lawn twice on one charge. Plus all the shenanigans you see in the video. And that wasn't even on a full charge. So that's something I'm incredibly impressed with is the battery life of this device. I could not get over that. And it's honestly probably one of the best selling points in my opinion. It is incredibly easy to use. The controller holds your hand through operating the thing. You cannot fuck it up. And it has all this technology in it that making it super intuitive. Easy to use U-turn buttons, bump sensors if you hit something, manual height adjustment. And honestly, it's got a ton more features that I don't even think that I know how to use or that I even have time to talk about. It is also extremely quiet. It's very, very quiet. I think you could use this thing at 5 a.m. or midnight and be totally fine in pretty much any neighborhood. Could have a full-blown conversation right next to it without having to yell. It is very quiet. But it does have some drawbacks, right? Uh, probably the biggest concern for most people is going to be the price. They start around 2400 bucks, which is kind of steep, considering that you can pick up a used riding lawnmower on Facebook Marketplace for like 500 bucks pretty much all day every day, right? But then you have to store and maintain a big ass lawnmower. Gas, batteries, tires, plugs, oil, it all adds up over time. And the Marader is basically zero maintenance, zero prep. You just turn it on and go and cut grass. It is that simple. Oh, and not to mention that I have a coupon code that will save you big bucks at checkout. Huge. Link in the description, but we'll talk about that more in a second. It is also smaller than most riding mowers deck lid, right? So it will take more passes to do a yard, but the thing about that is, is that it's fast as hell. I'd even say about twice as fast as your average riding lawnmower. You know, unless you're spending like five, ten thousand dollars on a zero turn, I think this thing just has the ability to go faster. It only has to power the weight of the machine, which is pretty light, and all the power is all torqued directly to the blades. So it doesn't bog. I could not get this thing to bog. On wet, tall grass, sticks, rocks, you name it, I could not get this thing to bog for the life of me. Could not even get it to like slow down. Plus you don't have to store a full size mower. Hell, you could even stand it on its back and like tuck it in a corner like Christmas decorations. And it'll never leave like oil stains on your garage floors, nothing like that. Personally, I found the biggest limiting factor was probably the distance between you and it. You can't get super far from it, which is inconvenient for most people, I would say, at least in America, with anybody with some sort of real lawn. But here's the really neat thing about this, and this is super important. Me and the company have been talking back and forth with a bunch of ideas, and they actually updated the software to extend the range, so now it can go much, much farther. That is badass customer support, and I don't know another company that works like this. Most Americans do tend to have a little bit bigger of a yard than most countries, so it's awesome to work with a company that actually listens to its market and listens to the consumer and what they want. It's really cool of them. To be honest, I think this might be the future for most people's yards big or small. And that includes lawn care service too. Imagine someone who can cut several yards in a neighborhood without even getting out of their truck. I know a lot of friends who do lawn care as like a business. Some of them own it. Some of them do it daily for another company. And they were all drooling over this thing. I mean, the idea of sitting in your air conditioning on like a 95 degree Georgia summer day while making a ton of money cutting grass remotely. I mean, that idea alone is huge. And I do think we're going to start seeing the market tend to swing towards something like that, whether it be remote controlled or a autonomous, but I do, I do believe that is the future for lawn care. So overall, I think this thing is really cool. It's probably the perfect and most useful tool for homeowners. It's small, it's easy to use, it's maintenance free, and most importantly, it's fun. Oh, also, and when you use my coupon code at checkout, which is do it with Dan, you save a bunch of money, making this an even more useful and reasonable tool. But let me know what you guys think in the comments or ask any questions. If you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks again to Motorator for sending this really cool lawnmower to play with. I think this is a perfect mix on the channel. They're also coming out with some new accessories soon that I get to play with. They want me to test out and uh, experiment with. So you guys will probably see an update video coming uh, relatively soon. But also, if you have any cool ideas like we did with the flamethrower, things that you think this thing would be fun to play with, let me know. Leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll expand on that. You know, I didn't really ask for permission this time about putting the flamethrower on this thing. And I, we'll see how that goes. I hope they I hope they don't hate me for that. But again, thank you guys for watching. I love you. I appreciate you, Moderator. Go check them out. Link in the description, all that stuff. Have a good evening. Have a good night. Have a good morning. And I love you.
goodbye. All right, one more thing. If you made it in the video this far, I want to say one thing. First of all, the ATF is gay is not a threat in any capacity. It's just a joke on inside in like the firearm community. I thought it was just a meme, but I also want to give credit because when I posted on Instagram, everybody started tagging a user by the name of Dirt Kid, who's a prominent gun uh, content creator. And I want to make sure I give credit where credit is due. So that is his thing. I thought it was just a meme, but uh, he has his own merchandise line that says ATF is gay shirts and stuff like that. So go check him out. I want to make sure credit is given where credit is due. He even left a comment on the, uh, on the Instagram post. So uh, shout out to Dirt Kid. He's the ATF is gay guy. Go check out his stuff.